May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. A reading from John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Word of God, word of life. An excerpt from Parker Palmer's The Risk of Incarnation, A Christmas Meditation. There's often a distressing disconnect between the good words we speak and the way we live our lives. In personal relations and politics, the mass media, the academy, and organized religion, our good words tend to float away even as they leave our lips, ascending to an altitude where they neither reflect nor connect with the human condition. We long for words like love, truth, and justice to become flesh and dwell among us. But in our violent world, it's risky business to wrap our frail flesh around words like those, and we don't like the odds. In the Christmas story, God, an airy word if ever there was one, takes the risk of incarnation. As a Quaker who believes that there is that of God in everyone, I know I'm called to share in the risk of the Incarnation. Amid the world's dangers, I'm asked to embody my values and beliefs, my identity and integrity, to allow good words to take flesh in me. Constrained by fear, I often fall short, yet I still aspire to incarnate words of life, however imperfectly. Christmas is a reminder that I'm invited to be born again and again in the shape of my God-given self, born in all the vulnerability of the Christmas story. An infant in a manger is as vulnerable as we get. What an infant needs is not theological debate, but nurturing. The same is true of all the good words seated in our souls that cry out to become embodied in this broken world. If these vulnerable but powerful parts of ourselves are to find the courage to take on flesh, to suffer yet survive and thrive, transforming our lives along with the life of the world, they need the shelter of unconditional love. For those of us who celebrate Christmas, the best gift we can give others, whatever their faith or philosophy may be, is a simple question asked with heartfelt intent. What good words wait to be born in us, and how can we love one another in ways that midwife that incarnation? The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly Jesus, 
Merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and ever. Amen. Let us bless our God.
in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.